Okay guys, what I want to show you here has to do with uh, reading the play and making a call based on observations of a developing battle. Now, we're here at Al Halouf and a T-37, a T-43, and an Amex 1375 have been detected over there downstairs and the MT-25 is really not suited uh, for any kind of uh, close range fighting with superior vehicles and I'm platooned with another MT-25 in this battle and the, these vehicles have the speed to get around the map and uh, change uh, the fortunes of a battle just based on uh, movement instead of uh, brawling and uh, we've already lost a T-28 prot in this fight XVM reports that our team is a little bit weaker so uh, the odds are already a little bit against us and uh, the judgment call here is that our T-43, our ISU, and the KV-5, that is sufficient strength to hold this position. And uh, those three guys downstairs there, the three enemy vehicles, it, it's going to take them a while to uh, climb. Uh, it's not going to happen quickly. And uh, one of my specialties, uh, since... The, almost the very beginning of playing this game is uh, judging the breakthrough position. Uh, this what I call finding the seam. And uh, the good thing in this fight is that I have another MT-25 to help me with this. And I called Snow Wolf over and we um, broke through into the enemy rear areas. And since our team was losing uh, by capping and killing two of, two out of their three RDs, it uh, changed the tide of battle. So uh, this is, uh, to, to me, this is an object lesson of the proper use of a, uh, a weak scout tank in, in a fight to uh, change the outcome. So I'm going to hit the space bar here, and we will just watch this. Now, Snow Wolf is uh, still way over there. But I'm looking here, right? I'm, I'm trying to judge whether it's possible to uh, make the breakthrough. So here comes Snow Wolf. And as you can see, the, uh, the three uh, light tanks over there are the medium. And the 1375 and the T-37, you know, they're taking their time. Uh, that's normal. And uh, because we have the speed... Uh, it takes us less time to be effective in this situation. We just lost a Leopard PTA. Snow Wolf is on his way. And I'm just marking time here. And basically, uh, you know, I'd, ideally I'd like a simultaneous advance, but uh, even though this was slightly unsynchronized, it was pretty, pretty effective. So uh, here he is. He's almost here. And away we go. So as you can see, oh, M46 Patton over there big surprise but that's good because he's downstairs now and uh, we're just gonna make our breakthrough here and completely avoid the action over there and as you can see this is uh, nicely timed only three enemy vehicles have not been spotted which is the Arties. so we're climbing here, not not very quickly, I'll admit. My T-50 used to roar up that hillside at almost 60 kilometers an hour. And I will fight from inside the cap circle, right? That's uh, part of my religion. So we're going to kill the S-51. Taking a bit of a chance here because that M-12 is looking at us. There we are. And now we'll get rid of him. A little bit sluggish at responding there. I'll admit it. And you, as you can see, uh, look at the uh, mismatch in the uh, surviving vehicle. So I think this move was uh, was a good call. And there's a funny ending here. Uh, watch this. The uh, Batchat 15555 got a pretty nice shot on me. So I, in a situation like this, I like to preserve my velocity. But it didn't help me survive this hit but it didn't win them the game either so uh, we'll just watch this and there he got me now look at look at the situation uh, the t43 
the 1375, the T-37, and the Patton all survived this fight. But by not uh, covering uh, the avenues of approach, the enemy team uh, lost the game. Now, this is uh, something... I was talking about this with Doctor of Death and, and several other people in the last little while. There's three Arties on the enemy team, and our team had three as well. Uh, that leaves only 12 tanks. And uh, the point I was trying to make to people is that when you have three Arties in, in almost every situation, your deployment is even more important than usual because those vehicles are vulnerable and if there's any kind of a breakthrough, you risk losing them. So in World of Tanks, you know, uh, they did promise that they were going to have only two Arties in these higher tier matches and that never uh, came to pass. So everybody in this game, when there's three Arties on your team, you really have to think hard about your positioning because it's more difficult to protect them and the demands on the deployment, the uh, the mental uh, strain of, of uh, figuring it out is uh, more critical than usual. And, uh, you know, as a scout, I, I know for a fact that... Uh, a lot of the times they don't think about it very much and uh, that makes life easier for me and that's what happened here even though I did get killed by that uh, batch hat arty but it wasn't enough for them to uh, turn the tide so uh, I was also helped by the fact that I had a, a scout with me in my platoon and that we were able to uh, take advantage of the situation. Anyways, I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, learned that lesson. So until next time, game over.